National Camping and Caravanning Week is all about getting people involved in getting outdoors and enjoying the British countryside through camping and caravanning. It's about the experience. This is the culmination of National Camping and Caravanning Week for the club. We've had uh, a team of four riders cycling uh, all the way from Wantage in Oxfordshire up to here at Scarborough, which is the original seaside resort, to spend a day having a real nostalgic time and remembering holidays of uh, days gone by. Good afternoon everybody, I just want to say it is a fantastic pleasure to be here today uh, in Scarborough and what a glorious, glorious day. A fantastic week for uh, camping and caravanning and also for the National Camping and Caravanning Week. So congratulations to everybody and fantastic that we're all here. Well done Team Tweed! <laughs> Scarborough is pertinent because it's one of the first British seaside holiday destinations. The first resorts that the British working classes would come and enjoy a seaside holiday. There's lots going to be going on here today. We've got a penny farthing, we have a helter skelter. You're coming up! We have donkey rides, Punch and Judy and fish and chips for all the campers. So it's going to be a real revel in nostalgia for everybody. The founder of the Camping and Caravanning Club actually started the whole story in Wantage because he was a very keen cycle camper and he liked nothing more than to get to his location on his bike, unpack the tent and then have a little cycle around the site wherever it may be. So the starting point was Wantage in Oxfordshire and then here we are landing in Scarborough. Go, a bit of greenery. I think this cycle ride has been a perfect way to engage with the public and try and encourage them to come on board for National Camping and Caravanning Week. What better way than to travel 420 miles across the country chatting to people along the way and really bringing this club and camping to the attention of everybody out there. Thank you.